We've seen some crazy stuff in the security industry. Now we're explaining the craziest and weirdest stuff you've asked about. I had no idea Blade worked security. No, it's Blade from Wish.com. What's my mom? I mean, look at this guy, dude. I'm kind of jealous of that trench coat. He even I'm not gonna lie, it's a badass trench coat. I mean, I mean, the dude's got knee pads, he's got swords, knives. Oh, he's got, he's got another gun down he's here. He's got the snake bliskin scope on that 357 Escape from LA. Gold platinum, what is that, 1911. He's got a nice Bowie knife. Dude, this guy has everything except the kitchen sink. Mm, I don't know. He's probably got a fire extinguisher behind his back. He's got good gear, just too much. I mean, how do you explain to a cop that, you, I mean, you just ran a guy through with your samurai sword? There can only be one, sir. I mean, this is clearly a power move. You know what I mean? He's trying to intimidate at the same time and be just a complete joke enough to where people might take him fairly serious. No, this is how security industry is a joke. Do you think he believes that he's that serious? Oh yeah, I no, think he yeah. believes that he has videos where he he thinks he's bad at. He thinks he's the shit. I say, watch out for this guy. I say, well, I, that guy's a liability. He's only one person. What are you gonna do when three dudes pull up? Everything's more of a risk to himself, and it is not. Every one of those items can be used against him, and clearly is not necessarily properly and thought out, methodically installed or anything. So, what we're there for at a bar? The whole point of security is keep people safe, maintain order. After it's over, everyone's drunk, everyone's having a good time, get them out, get them home, that's on them. With this guy, if everyone's drunk, you're one an intimidating factor. So he's trying to intimidate people to leave and trying to intimidate them to do what he says. With people that are drunk, that's not gonna go well. You challenge the drunk guy, He's gonna turn around and buck up just as much as you are. Y'all wanna bump chest y'all wanna bump chest and that's what this guy is trying to do is make him seem like he's a god to everybody and it's an ego thing. Tip. Yeah. And eventually someone's ego is gonna blow up and they're gonna push it and they're gonna get in this guy's face and they're bottom line, either this guy's gonna hurt somebody or he's gonna wind up getting hurt.